In Arizona, I found a man named David that started the world's first mobile dog gym. What's up everybody, Run Buddy Mobile. We're in Chandler, Arizona, giving my boy Drake a workout. Come and check it out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I first saw him on TikTok. Live on TikTok with I Wonder TV. And I wondered why he was so passionate about dogs and keeping them healthy. I also wondered, how does this mobile dog gym work? And do the dogs actually like it and benefit from it? So stick around as we learn more about David and his passion for dogs and keeping them happy and healthy. Simply put, we run dogs. We started off the day meeting with Charlie in Hollywood, and these two were super excited to see us. What's up, my good doggies? Come on, come on, come on. Good morning. Charlie has been on a weight loss journey and is doing really well. Hollywood is there for moral support, and she's also getting a workout building up her back leg muscles and mental stability. Two things dogs need to live a long and happy life. These treadmills are custom built for dogs. They have no motor, so the dog is having a focus and balance as they push the treadmill. They kind of look at it as their job, which is why they do so well in it. All dogs were bred to do a job. This is not the job they were bred to do, but it's a job. So they engage not only mentally, but physically. Come on, what's up buddy? What's up, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, good boy, let's get it. Come on, good boy, let's get it. Our next stop was to see a dog named Max. He's been in the program for two years and has made incredible progress. So we got some of this science diet food donated to us and we have a little dog, his name is Max, who's been trying to lose weight. So we're gonna see if we can speed up the process, pay it forward and help him lose a little weight. Good morning. I got the food. Yes, thank you. Oh, that's a lot, huh? Oh, that's awesome. Hi, Maxi boy. Hi, Maxi boy. Look what I brought you. I brought you some food. Max has lost 18 pounds since he's been in the program, and David always consults with the dog's vet to establish a weight loss program to make sure the dog is as safe as possible. He's jamming. <laughs> He is jamming. Come on, good boy. We also work out dogs for behavioral modifications. We have no temperament restrictions. Every canine fitness coach is trained and certified by me. Sometimes we do start dogs off with a muzzle, but a lot of the dogs that you see us working out in a muzzle, if you follow their journey on our page, within a few months, they're out of the muzzle and de-escalated down to be normal pets. Another thing is not all dogs are good with other dogs or other people. Max here used to be a little bit more reactive than he is now, in fact, he used to be a bite risk, but through these workouts and de-escalating them now, as you can see, I can now pet Max and not get bit. <laughs> he loves his workouts and he's losing weight. Come on, my good boy. Come on, my good boy. The other day, I noticed how happy David was working with all these dogs. I wanted to know what motivated him to help these dogs and their owners out. Dogs are my passion. We have to advocate for dogs. They can't call Rum Buddy on their own. And I'm just trying to prevent dogs from being put down. This country puts down, if you Google something, something between like four and five million dogs every year. And a lot of those issues can be solved with just a little bit of exercise. And I'm just trying to show the world that our dogs can live a lot longer and that we don't have to be surrendering our dogs and we don't have to put down dogs at the numbers we do in this country. As you can see, he's speeding up and slowing down as he sees fit. I'm here to keep him safe and motivated, but it's very natural for a dog to run like this. Dogs naturally run in ebb and flows. So as you can see, he speeds up and he slows down and he speeds up, but all the while I'm keeping him going, ensuring that we sustain a nice elevated heart rate and speed up the weight loss process. Come on, good boy. My favorite case is the older rehabilitation cases. I asked for the opportunity to work that dog out. Putting muscle on those back legs immediately, you see an uptick in those dogs' lives. So I'm taking dogs that literally have not been able to walk normally for months. I'm getting them trotting again. I'm extending their life. I'm helping them live longer. Our dogs can live a lot longer than what we're used to. Our next stop was to see Tucker and Max. When Tucker came running out of that house, I thought he was a giant wolf. This guy is huge. <laughs> What's up, my good boy? What's up, my good boy? What's up, my good boy? Come on. When we show up to Tucker and Max's house, as you see, they love it. They're ready to go. They've been waiting all morning for us to pull up. He knows it's his run day. He's ready to rock. Come on, good boy. What's up, good boy? What's up, good boy? Get in there. Come on. 
Come on, come on, high puppers, high. Tucker has also made some incredible progress working with David. When we pull up to Tucker's house, as you can see, he's super excited. But what you don't see is that dog is a rescue and he was actually, in fact, terrified of humans. I was actually hired to come and run Max because he's got a tremendous amount of energy. And I asked him, well, what's up with Tucker? And I was told that he was terrified of humans, that if you accidentally make eye contact with him, he'll shut down for four or five days at a time. Now imagine the life he was living. Tucker, who used to be terrified of humans and now is a normal dog because of these workouts. Hi, puppers. Hi, my puppers. Hi, puppers. Hi. Oh, what a poor doggy. Hi, puppers. Hi. Fast forward now, six months now, he's a happy-go-lucky dog, plays with humans, plays with dogs, and it's just not fair for a dog to live with that kind of fear and that kind of anxiety. What it's gonna lead to is an accidental bite and a surrender down the road, but we were able to rehabilitate him to now, he's just a happy-go-lucky dog that just happens to be the size of a horse. <laughs> Thank you for the confetti. I donate all that to Running Dogs at Shelters and Rescues. If you want a Run Buddy Mobile in your area, please go to my video and tag Gary V. If we can, as a big dog community, start tagging Gary V, that would be amazing. <whistles> Listening to Gary V's motion of motivational speaking and document don't create, I knew I had to get my message out there. What's up everybody, Run Buddy Mobile? Check out my new buddy, your name is Shiloh. Tail wagon, tongue dragon, getting a workout. We post all day, every day, every single dog that we run. We're putting videos up all over social media, trying to show people what we do and encourage them to give us a call and, and help us let your dog live a little longer. Oh, look who's here. The man behind the magic himself, Mr. David Lopez. How are we doing, boss? What's up, dude? A portion of every single run is donated to running dogs at shelters and rescues. Like today, we're at Friends for Life Animal Rescue. They get to advertise that we're here doing free demos and it drives people to come and do a free demo and then they're here supporting the rescue. We're extremely humble and grateful that we get the opportunity to work with so many dogs. Again, it starts off with the owners wanting to better and enrich their dogs' lives and give us this opportunity to show them my crazy idea, some people called it, that your dogs can just live a lot longer, happy, healthier life. If you ask me where I see Run Buddy in the next five years, I'd like to be in all 50 states and running dogs across the country and showing people just how much longer and healthier of a life our dogs can live. <laughs> Look at it. Let's go, good boy. Come on. That's a good boy. As we spread across the country, we'll run more dogs and we'll donate to more shelters. All right, thanks for signing on. I'm going to get out of here. We run dogs.